So having finished the lecture on heart failure with episodic traction, let us look at some uh, interactive questions uh, to revise our knowledge of uh, this uh, complicated entity, which is a future heart failure. I told you the increase in incidence of heart failure is happening because of increase in heart failure with a pusseva ejection fraction. And heart failure with mid-range ejection fraction is all except 40 to 49, cardiac failure signs and symptoms, LVH or diastolic dysfunction, normal NT probe AMP. Please see that this is a very important criteria. In the presence of increased NT probe AMP, you have to have either one of LVH or DD. So this is what I told you. So you can see 40 to 49, you must have BNP elevation plus LVH or DD. What is the most important component of heart failure pressure ejection fraction is, I told you, whenever PEF, you remember P, P for pressure. Heart failure pressure ejection fraction, P for pressure. So it is increase in filling pressure. That's what I try to go in detail in pathophysiology. So this is a scenario. We are looking at the patient. 65 year diabetic hypertensive female, obesity, dyspnea one year, class 3 for the last one month, no orthopnea, mild edema, and glipicide, metformin, neurovitamins, beta blockers, and amlodipine, no V's, heart rate is only 56, 160, 100, no third heart sound murmur, ECG will be shown, and he has got LVH, HG65, grade 1 diastolic dysfunction, X-ray chest is normal CT ratio. So this patient has got class 3 dyspnea. Now we evaluate. What is the most important you would like to elicit to diagnose heart failure here is PND here. So PND is a very important clinical history which will tell you not only that dyspnea is cardiac, it also tell you that the dyspnea is due to left-sided dyspnea. What is the most important clinical sign you elicit to diagnose heart failure with pressure extraction except LVH, left atrial fourth heart sound and JVP elevation and not third heart sound. Third heart sound is sign of systolic dysfunction. Fourth heart sound is a sign of diastolic dysfunction. In this patient, EF according to Framingham health criteria of heart failure, patient is in heart failure, yes or no. No, because... Uh